Today in sports, how much would you have to be paid to pose naked? Michelle Steele has the story on that with the U.S. water polo team. What happened? Hey, buddy. Uh, not much, actually. I uh, think nothing. Zero zilch. Not just a few dollars. No dollars. The women of Team USA water polo, who graced the cover of this week's issue of ESPN's uh, The Body Issue, stopped by Bloomberg this week to talk about what the response has been since they decided to leave their swimsuits at home. Anywhere we can get our name out and be like out there for our sponsors is great, and the reaction has been good. So I think Canaan's po it's a positive response. Now, to say that sponsorship is limited for water polo may be an understatement. Water polo in the U.S. generates no revenue in the United States, and the team's entire budget, $2 million, is less than a tenth the size of USA Track and Field, for instance, which Nike helps pay for. In fact, the women's water polo team helps fundraise itself to make money to fund the sports activities. All the women we spoke with spent part of the year playing professionally in Europe, and some members of the team take part-time jobs when they're home just to make ends meet the rest of the time. We're funded completely by the USOC and what we do as athletes. So we're getting out there completely by donations from people, like our Victory 2012 campaign. People can donate as much as they want to us, and, and our proceeds will go directly to the national team. So they're doing it for the publicity, buddy, and they're going back to Colorado Springs today to train for the 2012 Olympics.